Welcome to the 2022 Economic Depression and Preparation Channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me on this weekend edition, September 17, 2022. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel, preach to me, and tell all your friends, neighbors, cohorts, and chums that this is the place for the interpretation of the news, financial news, 100% pure and unadulterated truth. And I appreciate your support dearly. Winter is coming, folks. That is the theme of today's message is that winter is coming. It is not going to be an exciting holiday season for lots of us as Americans um, and in North America and in European uh, nations and the Eurozone nations as well. But we will survive with strong people. God has blessed us with tremendous blessings thus far and we will get through it. It's just going to be a little bit painful the next two to three years that we're going to be going into because it's clear. It's evident that inflation, high taxes, high crime and high debt levels are going to be continuing to haunt both the U.S. and Eurozone, European Central Bank economies. So let's get right into it. CNBC.com today, uh, yeah, uh, this past week, reported that inflation isn't just about fuel costs anymore as prices increase broaden across the economy. So last month in August, we saw that everyone was worried about gas prices and, and food. But now shelter, rent is not coming down um mortgage rates continue to go above six percent now almost approaching seven percent medical services many com- medical debt is a huge burden on a lot of families you could have something as simple as an emergency bill uh an ambulance bill that's you'd be out of what three ten thousand dollars easily or something more serious that can put you a hundred thousand dollars in medical debt just like that overnight and so all of these costs excuse me, continue to make an impact on our budgets as family and friends and everyone else. So now we know that food prices have increased over 13.5%. This is the largest increase since March 1979. That's over 42 years, ladies and gentlemen. Medical services increased, as I said before. And so now we're looking at an economy that where the Federal Reserve Bank is scheduled to raise rates again by, some believe, one full basis percentage point on Wednesday of this week. If they do that, that'll be the largest increase. This will be the fourth rate hike this year. And we still have one more rate hike after this to come sometime in November, December as well, if they continue on this rate increase. Core inflation is still at 8.5%. And now many are wondering, can the Fed can the Fed tame inflation without further crushing the stock market? The answer to that is no. And what investors need to know. So investors quote should brace for more volatility with policymakers expected to deliver another jumbo rate hike, which I talked about before. Here we go. So winter is coming. That means that both stock Wall Street and Main Street will feel the effects of this recession that we're already in because the third quarter GDP is coming out um, sort of after the end of this month or next month, and it could be negative as well. So we will definitely be into a recession um, when the media and the TV shows, Fox News, CNBC, MSNBC, etc., they're going to admit it after we get into this winter time that we are definitely in a slowdown, a global slowdown, but more so affecting the America and the Eurozone and the U.K., tremendously as things continue to go up as a matter of fact we're looking at the world news here businessstandard.com is world news uh, economy news guys consumer electricity prices in germany expected to rise by 60 percent in 2023 i noticed that they told uh, you guys over in uh, the eurozone to conserve the uh, natural gas obviously uh, we're getting ready for a colder winter coming up later on once we get past this fall and into the actual winter we're looking for a colder winter which is going to cause more people to burn natural gas and and people in the u.s to use more heating and oil and stuff like that for those in the colder climates now we have this in germany they're expected to rise by 60 percent have you noticed little extra fees on your utility bills um either in the u.s and eurozone um where they have extra taxes the utility taxes are going up i noticed on these bills and many people have many americans have begun to cut costs in terms of cable and different things i know for myself i don't have cable no more i just use a fire stick and i get all of the same channels that everyone else gets but the bill is less uh you know cable bills here with verizon and these are averaging sometimes 230 250 a month i said no way no i cannot do this and i'm sure many of you have done that already got an amazon fire stick a roku or some streaming hulu or some streaming service that you pay less than that uh you can pay 40 50 bucks 60 bucks maximum and have a bunch of different channels and movies on pluto tv tv and all these different stations that you can get movies whether they're recycled and also on energy costs a lot of people and myself included have gotten solar powered lights solar powered things um to help save reduce the cost 
of the electricity things that have been going on. So make sure you stock up on your candles, matches, generators, and things of that nature because we will have brownouts coming up in the summer of 2023 and next year, going into next year as everybody tries to conserve energy and cost. Um, natural gas prices were 84% higher. Heating oil was twice as expensive, quote unquote. This is according to the Federal Statistical Office in Germany. Um, and so these costs are going up. The cost of doing business is going up, ladies and gentlemen, because the supplies is just not there. And this debt level is another reason why we're going to be heading toward a massive, massive uh, depression. And it's going to be a drawn out depression. Federal debt level currently exceeds $23.4 trillion. We're close to the $30 trillion right now, guys. And we basically owe two of the money groups. Who does the U.S. owe? The public? How do you say, How do we owe the public? Well, we owe the public, ladies and gentlemen, through uh, pension, public pension promises, city firefighters, police, uh, federal workers, um, et cetera, teachers. We owe the public. They owe the public through Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, funding of that, even though it's a different trust fund, it still has to be funded by the current workers, generation of workers. And we know that the baby boomers are retiring. They started retiring from year 2020 through 2025. The largest group of baby boomers are retiring like right now, as we speak, these next two or three, four years as they approach those uh, the maximum they can get out of the Social Security and everything at the age 70 and 72, et cetera. I think as long as you can probably get the maximum if you were under the old uh, system, pension system, civil service. So now we have the uh, intergovernmental holdings. They owe also intergovernmental holdings, treasury bonds. Uh, treasury uh, b bonds and municipal bonds all of this has to be paid off and you know guys right now we're approaching 30 trillion dollars of debt uh old and we, a lot of foreign governments have purchased u.s treasuries china japan brazil ireland the uk and other countries china represents 29 percent of all treasuries issued to other countries corresponds to about 1.18 trillion and japan holds the equivalent of a, about a trillion a little over a trillion in treasuries so, guys, these is going to come up. This inflation plus the debt means that we're going to be looking at a slowing economy. Now, it's just globally, but it's just that the U.S. will feel it more. The top 10 wilderness survival guide uh, gear that you need. This is an article that I found very, very interesting. But this stuff that you already know, navigation, uh, installation, f first aid supplies, repair kit, nutrition, hydration, water is very important. Emergency shelter. I got mine, our tents, bags, all that stuff. You guys probably have blue tarps. Um, you know, but nutrition is very important. Patriot Group had some deals. I think they have some things back in stock. You guys might want to check out Patriot Group. They have very good food. The buckets there that last. Very nutritious. Um, if you have old um, MREs, save those. Don't use them. Put them away and store them, uh, of course, safely um, and things of that nature. Repair kit and tools, you know, duct tapes. Uh, those Ikea basic foods for women are good. They can go to Ikea and get those basic repair kits that have uh, Allen keys and, you know, hammers and different little things, uh, wrenches and things of that nature. And like I said, first aid supplies is crucial too as well. Every every uh, two, three months, make sure you have first aid supplies. And make sure you have a working fire extinguisher. Um, fire extinguishers are very useful even outside of a home or outside of a backyard. You might want to have, even I just got a small one, a kittle. You can get kitty ones, a kittle one, something like that for like 15, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Keep those on hand as well. Um, a Blackstone griddle has been very popular with a lot of my, my, my fans, uh, my my. My family, my friends, we, uh, they have an electric griddle. For those who don't want to do outdoor, you can do indoor with an electric griddle that can be powered by a small, you know, generator, um, jackery generator or so, or so. Or you can use an outdoor Blackstone griddle with a propane tank that you guys know, butane tank that you can get, butane and propane that you can, propane in that you can use as well. Um, and also don't forget the outdoor jacket, thermal wear, um, sunglasses, all of that needs to be prepared. So as we continue to go deeper and deeper into this collapse that's now in the fourth inning, um, we're going to see house household debt climb. Uh, we're going to see more families living together, um, multi-generational families and friends living together. Airbnb is going to be surging on rentals and, and leases, subletting. Subletting is going to become the future um, outside of the cities and exurbs and suburbs. And so continue to prepare because this is what we're facing on all fronts. But just know that if we continue to stick together, band together as neighborhood and communities, as we did in during the 1929 Great Depression, inflationary depression, we will get through this. This next depression, as I told you, is going to last at a minimum 10 years, could last up to 15 years as the economy, because we're talking about a system now, an economy that is transforming from a service based economy to an automation, technocratic, tech based economy. That means less actual physical workers and more, you know, virtual reality, uh, coding, things of that nature. So if you, if you have kids or grandkids, they're going to be doing more of that now virtual reality, coding. 
uh, less human to human. But however, the human human interaction will always be there because we were made, we were created to be in community with one another um, and with God as well. And so, with with God's help, with each other's help, we will survive this new world economy that is coming. Um, nobody knows when it could be two, three years from now, it could be three years from now, but before 2030, I believe that all the pieces will be in place for the new global economy and the new digital currency, which will be trackable by everybody everywhere because paper currency is clearly on its way out. The debt loads are unsustainable and the whole economy is just going to be written off in both Europe and the United States and Asia and everywhere around the world. Eventually, when the debt levels get too high, they have to write it off and that's what we're going to see. Um, and we're going to see massive um, change in the standard of living for everyone. So be blessed, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Get out. Enjoy the sunshine. This is the last official week of summer. Um, the autumn equinox begins. So enjoy that um, and get ready. Stay prepared. Be blessed. Thank you for listening. Be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video and on Monday. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.